topic today. Well, I'm grateful to be here, be talking about the fact that 2024 is going to be my last competitive season in Monster Jam. Yeah, ever since I was a young kid, and I can remember being like 10 years old, and I used to go to the grocery store and buy the magazines that had like monster trucks in them when they were first coming along with the big tires and how they were jacking them up. And I really thought, man, that'd be cool to have one of those. Well, he was a good guy, and I figured I could put him in a truck and he could drive it. His, uh, the butt patrol was fast, and uh, he had a lot of experience. He drove for many years to shake me, and uh, he was good. The days when Tom drove monster patrol, he put monster patrol on the map. He came out romping and stomping with that truck. He used to do the most ballistic, biggest uh, cyclone donuts. He had the wing on it. He would do the wing walk. Tom had that appeal that, you know, to, to the fans that he was there to satisfy that he wanted to be the best. He wanted to be the best driver. He wanted to have the most cheers. He wanted everybody to like him the most. So he tried really hard and it worked really good for him because he put, he put that old monster patrol on the map. In 1999, Tom debuted Bulldozer. Bulldozer had been on the circuit, but he debuted it with Tom driving. And he came out to the track and he spanked my butt in the finals. We're in the final run here of the semifinals. Wide turn by Dennis that hurt you. What a great turn by Tom Ed and Bulldozer. Living up to the top. He also managed to catch the interest of professional wrestler Bill Goldberg. The next big window in Tom's career began to open. Last week, got a lot of bikes, but I was missing one thing in my collection. So, tonight, here it is. There it is, the Goldberg Monster Truck. The greatest night, the biggest event in the history of this sport, if your truck and your driver can make it to number one. You got it, I have more than confidence in him. He's got the ability, and he sure as hell got it in his eyes. Goldberg is flying again! Goldberg in the lead down the paint straightaway. Can he get it turned? He does! Goldberg's got it! Goldberg wins the World Finals! The night that he won first World Championship in Las Vegas, I was so proud I was in tears. Because I knew he'd made it. Tom was hard to keep up with because he was switching from Monster Patrol to Bulldozer to Goldberg. He wanted people to recognize him as the driver and not follow the truck as much. Another huge opportunity was to unfold. Another chance to excel in Tom's search for his own identity in the world of monster truck racing. Bill Goldberg's name was gone. It was the first time anybody tried to debut the name of a driver on a truck. I think that's real important for this sport. I think it was more the star to win. Drivers' names were starting to become bigger than the actual names of trucks. It used to be the other way around. Everybody talked about the name of the truck, not necessarily the name of the driver. Instead of Bill Goldberg's face being on top of the truck, it was my face. And, you know, I did not want to come out and do any worse than I did before because I knew everybody was watching me to see how I could do totally on my own. Tom was finally beginning to gain the recognition he had always dreamed of. Now we're ready for these two to go down Thunder Alley. Here they come. You're focused on Tom Pitt, the world champ. Can he hang on and do it again? Boy, look at Mitch down that straightaway. Scotty's so strong in the turn. It's very smooth. It's close. Another huge change lay ahead for champion Tom Metz. This Hot Rod Association came up with a new paint scheme they had had in their office for a while. It was a wild paint scheme and we needed to come up with a name for it. I thought it would be a good fit for me, you know, to fit that body. And, you know, the name Maximum Destruction was struck up. And it just seemed like it actually told the whole story about me and the way I drive.
back across the floor to try to get started again. Tom is spectacular, but remember, they cost him a double down. Maybe not. <laughs> he stands on a blow. Here in Las Vegas. Oh no, look at this! Can he save it? Yes. He's back on all four, Scott Douglas! Look at this! A classic Max D move! Possibly giving him some trouble right there. He's trying to hold on here. Oh no! Oh, there goes Lucas Oil Crusader. He absolutely blasted the Lucas Oil Crusader. Are you kidding me? Look at the fans. Lucas Oil Stadium is on its feet again, Bob. Okay, well, right here, this might, this might pull him to the top. Oh no! A backflip that landed on Ray Big. Oh my! I'm going to tell you, if he could have pulled that one out. That was, that was incredible. Look, the little wall, it's clean and clear. Otherwise, you'd never notice it. Oh, my! What? You have got to be kidding me. What have we just seen?